So I'm headed out of Dermot, headed to McGee, and there's a couple of things on this road that we're going to find interesting, I believe. Stay tuned. So this is 65, the old 65. This would have been a road that they would have traveled on, but it would have only been two lanes at the time. So friends, this is I-65. Dermot is that way. McGee is that way. This is all that's left of Coley's truck stop and the Twin City Diner. The building was right here. They built a new building where it was, but these are original from back then, from the truck stop and the diner. And a famous photograph happened right here that is one of the earliest known, in my opinion, examples of Elvis having a, a love for police and for firearms. This photo right here happened right here. Now I'm gonna show you the photo again and you're gonna see something you didn't notice the first time. And that is Elvis is holding that state troopers gun. You see that? So Elvis had a fascination with guns and police even in February of 1955. So he had played there I believe they stayed here. There was also a hotel here as well. And KBSA Radio, where Elvis did a interview, you can see the tower right there. It's literally right down there on the left-hand side. So he played here at the high school gymnasium. They stopped here. And they probably traveled through here doing other things, maybe. This is kind of remote in Arkansas. But no doubt, they were right here and this may be the time that Elvis fell in love with police officers and guns you never know right here friends Twin City Diner and the reason they call it Twin City is because it was halfway between Dermot and McGee now we're gonna go into McGee and see something and we're gonna stop over there at KVA stay tuned so I hope windshield's a little cleaner. Boy, the bugs are just tearing it up, and I haven't seen an open car wash anywhere. But I'm going to drive around here just a little bit. There's one entrance, one exit. So we're just going to circle around and just look. There's cars here everywhere. I don't know what that is. There's no markings on that building. But this is not the original building, but supposedly the Twin City Diner and Coley's truck stop, there was also a hotel, or it would be a motel back then, I would assume, would be right around that, but it would have been right in this area. So they, no doubt, were through here. So I'm gonna jump. I pulled in that driveway to the right, so I'm gonna pull out of the driveway to the left and head towards McGee. And we'll go down to KBSA. And we also have a little surprise in McGee. Made some phone calls and found something. So we're going to check it out. Stay tuned. So I'll show you how close KBSA was. And that motel would have looked something like that. And this could have even been the motel that they stayed at, but that's KBSA right there, what's left of it. So friends, we're on 65. Dermot is that way. McGee is that way in Arkansas. And I want you to look. 1220 on your AM radio dial. KVSA radio. Elvis was here talking about the show that he was doing in Dermot. Girls came out to meet him, were unable to meet him that day. But Elvis was here. This recently closed just months ago and has been open for all those years.
got kitty cats out here. 3454. So Elvis would have come into Dermot. I mean, <laughs> McGee. Me and my Elvis McGee. Elvis was invited to a party that was put on by some young ladies at the Lally's home, the home of Pat Lally, Patricia Lally. And we're going to go to that house. I called Pat's brother, and he was nice enough to tell me exactly where that house was, and sadly told me, and I'm going to put a picture of Pat up, that Pat passed away 48 hours ago. Because I asked him if she was still with us, and to my shock and embarrassment, really, he said, well, she passed away about 48 hours ago, which is pretty crazy. So they would have turned left right here. And he said that her friend, best friend from that time, her name was Patsy Mack is what they called her. Patsy Mack is still alive and lives in Hot Springs. So I'll be reaching out to Patsy Mack. And that's not her married name, but that's what they call her, Patsy Mack. And he said they were still friends, even after all these years. And he said Patsy Mack will know all the Elvis intel that we want to know. So we will be making a call to Patsy Mack. I'll get her story probably over the phone. Then I will try to, Lori and I are going to go back to Fort Chaffee and probably stay in Hot Springs. And when we do that, um, I will try to interview Patsy Mack in person in McGee, Arkansas. I'm finding out that he went to a lot of people's houses, which is interesting. I, I'm seeing the, the history of it all kind of widen now that I'm out actually tracking things and talking to people and learning stories and finding out things, we're finding that that Elvis was quite social while he was out in every town and and more or less took a girl out uh, in almost every town, it appears. Uh, so that's why he had a car separate from the boys so he could continue his dating and the things that he wanted to do once, once there was enough money to afford having multiple vehicles. Now, when he was here, this was early on, and he would have not been able to afford to have two vehicles at one time. So I think Elvis and Scotty and Bill all attended this party. I'm sure that that is correct. Which at the time, Elvis was not famous. It wasn't until the next year that it really blew up worldwide, but he was regionally famous. You know, they were playing his records on the radios like on KVSA. So the house was 501 North 4th Street, and this is North 4th. So that is 401. And that is 409. So Elvis attended a party right here at this house. Right there. Incredible. What's going on, man? You live here? No. You live here? You live here? Oh, everything's cool. So I was just going to tell you guys, and y'all not going to believe this, but um, back in 1955, Elvis came to a party here at this house. Yeah, I don't, don't Do you know that story? No, sir. 
I ain't, know, I ain't never known that. Really? No, sir. Yeah, the, uh, the guy's name. She knows about it? So the Lowleys lived here? Yes. Well, she talked to me? Yes, she was. Okay. Great to see you guys. But Elvis was at your house. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Know who Elvis is. <laughs> so, does she know about it? Incredible. Those guys don't even live there, do they? No. That's kind of a problem house. Uh huh. I heard you. Come on in. Well, I'm glad to see you. I'm Janet. <laughs> I'm Billy the Spa Guy. Nice to meet you, oh. Janet. And uh, I do Elvis history videos. Okay. Well, so if she in. knows about it, that would be incredible. She's 85. Because Miss uh, Lally passed away yesterday, two days ago, Pat. Yes, Patricia Mama knew did. that. Okay. Yeah, come on in. And I just found out. In. That's awesome. Come on, sir. Hey, Mom. She's 85. That's, uh, so, that's, that's the age. Come here. Hey coming, there. We're coming in here. This gentleman wants to talk about. Well, hey there. Explain, and I'll go finish loading okay. my car. I do Elvis videos, Elvis history videos. The spy guy. And I'm called the spy guy, and I know that Elvis was next door at the Lally's. Mm -hmm. Will you tell us about that? I can't really tell you about it. Oh, he knew about, oh, I know he knew about Pat. Oh, Pat. Pat he passed was, away two days ago. Uh -huh, I knew about that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they were, they were over here, there before I moved here. Okay. About two or three years, I think. Okay. And, um. Uh, he was down at Dermont, and uh, Patricia, Patricia Lally, I don't know what her name is now, but she died not long ago. And uh, her uh, her sister wrote me, Peggy. I knew her better than any of them because she was still young when she was over there. But Patricia's the one that invited him over, and Miss Lally said he was the nicest person. They enjoyed him so much. But I wasn't here, but I've just heard. But you've heard the stories. Oh, though. I've heard the and stories. And you can confirm that he was there. Oh, yeah, he was there. Now, were the Lallys, were they doctors? Is, was her dad a dad, doctor? I, uh, dentist. Okay, dentist. And so is Mike. Mike Lally's too. Okay, so uh, I just talked to Mike earlier, and okay. he told me that the house was there. So uh, her father was a dentist, uh, and, and then her brother was a dentist. a dentist as well. Okay. No, yeah. Patricia's brother was a dentist, and her dad. And her I dad. I started going to Dr. Lally. Early, long time ago, when the kids were little. That is something else. And then, and then I moved next door to them, and they were the nicest people. Doctor and Miss Lally both. Evelyn was her name. And uh, anyway, I knew the family, but I knew Peggy better than any of them because she was still still over there when I moved here. But you heard Evelyn say that Elvis was a nice kid. Oh yeah. Okay. Miss Lally really liked him. That's really awesome. Like him. Yeah, and this was way before he was famous. Now this oh, was yeah, fifty-five. Was at Dermont. Yeah, this would have been February it's fifty-five. He got famous. I didn't. I, I I heard about it, but I didn't know he was famous. I, Elvis was an old name to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about him being a young man. Yeah. But he's the same age as me. Yeah. He's born in nineteen thirty-five. Nineteen thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, you're looking great. Well, thank you. And I hope I can get around good as you when I'm when I'm, <laughs> when I'm eighty-five. Well, I'm thankful for every year I've lived. <laughs> I interviewed a guy over in uh, in Dermot that's Dermot. 95, and uh, yeah, he, he, he took me around. around. Yeah, uh -huh. he sure did. Showed me where the high school was that they played. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't know. I think the mayor didn't like the way he acted. <laughs> well, they gave the kids the money back. Oh, really? After the show, yeah, y'all heard that. I didn't hear. Yeah, they did the show, and the superintendent like did not like the way he acted. Patricia liked him. Yeah. He invited him, and uh, Miss Lally, and Evelyn Lally was her name, and uh, she she really liked him, and he liked her. That's something else. Mm -hmm. He he knew how to schmooze the moms, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, thank y'all so much. Thank you for this, okay. and um, and that's it's a big deal, and it's I thank you for telling guy, me. Huh? Yes, ma'am. You heard rumors after the concert. People uh, were talking about how good he was. Uh-huh, and I thought he was an old man. I wasn't ready to go see him. <laughs> Because Elvis, the name Elvis was an old name. I know it. That's right. I, I didn't. He wasn't the famous yet. <laughs> right. Now a year later, he was real famous. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wasn't long. Yeah. Been. A little over a year. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you so much for this. Okay. So they were so nice. I'm still going to walk around and just kind of get a little bit of a of a view of this. They said that 20 years ago the house was just immaculate and it's gotten quite run down. But Elvis was right here. Right here. This is at the corner of North Forth and Maple. 
Now you know. He was here for a party. And of course they were, dad being a dentist, they were wealthy. Oh, they were breaking in that house right there, I believe. So I'll tell you a little story about what happened at the party at this house. First, she and Patsy Mack and Patsy's brother Billy all rode with Elvis in a pink Cadillac is what Patsy said. And one of them was trying to roll the windows down and didn't know how to get them down. And he said, they said, how do you roll the windows down? He said, you don't roll them down. You just push a button. They had never seen power windows in a car before. When they got here, Elvis went to the bathroom first and then went straight for Pat Lally's mother and introduced himself, thanked her for allowing him and the band to come spend some time here and was very gracious to her mother for the rest of the night. Very thankful. Also, the boys were driving another vehicle. So at this time, they did have a second vehicle with him, which was, uh, I thought, much later, but this would have been March of 55, so Elvis at this time was already taking two vehicles. Another thing happened was Scotty and Bill started dancing to the music. They were playing That's All Right Mama on a record player in there. They asked Elvis if he would like to dance, and he declined the invitation saying, I really don't dance very well. That statement, the girls said, was a shock to them. They were used to seeing him gyrate all over the stage for an hour at a concert, but that happened in that house right there. Elvis went to to a party in that house. Yes, indeed he did. Water shut off in this house. Hmm. I think those guys are getting there to break in or did break in. Wow. Neighborhoods, guys. Wow. Nice lady next door, beautiful house, next door, crack house. Shane. So Elvis played in Dermot in March 1955. In November of 1955, he played the Airmen's Club in Biloxi, and Pat Lally went to that show. Some say it was because her family moved, which I can't imagine her dad being a dentist and being a dentist in the military and living there. So that doesn't make sense. I think she just attended with a date and Elvis recognized her and asked her about her mother. Elvis also met Jun Juanico that night. That's a complete other story. But I thought it was interesting that he remembered Pat Lally and remembered her mother. He was a very nice young man. Little bit more Elvis history unfolded here, friends. When you go to these towns, and ask these people. A lot of people actually know what happened. It's pretty incredible. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.